Good evening again, or afternoon. Will you stop it? We, <laughs> I have some uh, friends here. To, oh, you're my friend. Well, you are now. Oh, let's start with the rabbi. He goes first. All right. <laughs> I go first? Will you go he first? He has to go. Yeah. From the Washington Free Beacon. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> Thank you. Hear the kids? I like it. <laughs> it's an online uh, 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 newspaper, right? It's, uh, yeah, it's a news site. What? A news site. Thank you. A news site. A news site? <laughs> Ah, uh, different. It's Charles <laughs> Lehman. Let's give him an up. He's a staff writer. I tell you. All right. Hey, you, know, all right, all right. you ever had staff Lukakis or what? <laughs> I've not. Isn't he? Didn't wasn't he the governor here? Staff Lukakis. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Mike. All right. And over here we have Derek Tenbrook. All right. How you doing? He's the unofficial mayor of Pepperell. Doing good, Ed. Thank you. Thanks for having me. You're doing. Oh, stop it! Don't suck up to me. <laughs> here's a wait a minute. Here's a bribery he gave me for this. All right, Derek. So, what would you like? To, now, but Derek is. He's a. Uh, are you a, uh, you're a player at <laughs> at TBI insuring for, insuring for success. That's un-American. <laughs> Cut it out. So, what would you like to talk about, Derek? Then we'll get to. Rabbi Ginsburg here. <laughs> well, I, I think uh, appropriate that I uh, acknowledge Gino because he invited me to come on your show. Oh, that's right. I'm sorry, Gino. This it's is Gino Fratelloni. Two T's, two L's, and an N's and an E. I I'll thought it was I'll an I. I never you, found it. I'll forgive you 2,000 years from now. Oh. <laughs> But uh, yes. what I was saying was it's nice of Gino to invite me, and uh, Gino's a proud Rotarian, as I am, and uh, I'm a third-generation Rotarian. Third-generation Rotarian. Let's give him a hand for that one. All right, all right. The yeah, kids yeah. love it. They it's, don't know what it is, but they love it. All right. It's a wonderful organization, and I, I thank Gino again for inviting me. I'm going to so. cry. Uh, <laughs> don't do that. Don't do that. Probably allergies, right, Mike? <laughs> All right, so what would you, what you, what would you like to talk about today, sir? Tell us a story. Tell, tell, I'll tell you tell a story. A, I, okay, uh, once upon a time. I will tell you a story yes. that I'm very, very proud of. Yes. Uh, I grew up in Framingham, Massachusetts. Ooh, and at the you age, speak Portuguese. I do, do not. Oh, I do sorry. not. And at the age of 24, I came up to, uh, or 25, I came up to Pepperell, Massachusetts, not knowing one person. And I moved into the community when there was about 9,000 people. And there's about 13,000 people now, wow. and they call me the unofficial mayor of the town. And it's only because I've got, because of my community work and my business being in Pepperell that I've gotten to know so many people and very, very proud of uh, that unofficial mayor status in Pepperell. Well, I in would Pepperell. be, too. Yeah? Yeah, the, the squirrels call me that, the unofficial <laughs> mayor of Westford, right? <laughs> I feed the birds, too, you know. I this a, I is a place public service. I got an attack crow on the roof looking out. <laughs> it's coming for you? Well, yeah, Pepperell yeah. has become a very, uh, very nice place to bring up now a family. What's, what's uh, big uh, to know about? Because this goes all over the world, you know. So the, Putin wants to know what's a good place to have well, dinner. Well, yeah, yeah, there you go. Well, I think one of the things that uh, Pepperell sets its, um, that's very different than a lot of communities we have a covered bridge that you can actually drive uh, under, over, whatever you that's want to like, call it. That's like a Vermont. real covered bridge. Don't you yell at me. I'm not yelling no, at now, you. You want to describe where Prepo is? It's northwest of Boston. Go deep. Uh, it's next to Groton. It's in between Groton and in between uh, Hollis, New Hampshire. Uh, Excuse Hollis, me, New my Hampshire. people go all the way to Honolulu, so they don't oh, know. Oh, well, there you go. Point to the map over here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. How many we don't have a map. We don't have a map. No, but, how many uh, miles is that northwest of Boston? About uh, 30, 35? I would say about 35. Yep. 35 miles. Yep. Write that yep. down, Rabbi. Sounds right. Yep. Sounds right. <laughs> <laughs> Got a congregation going. So, uh, what, what is exciting besides the bridge? Um, what is exciting? But that about first, sums it up, huh? Yeah, that pretty much No, no, much what's it? the big restaurant there? Uh, Mariano's is uh, one of the local restaurants, an Italian restaurant. See that? There's actually, uh, you should know this, there's a uh, item called the uh, lobster mac and cheese. Lobster and, uh, mac and cheese? And the unofficial mayor of Pepperell actually endorses that on the menu. It's on the menu. Wow. You can see that it's endorsed by me. So How do you like that? that? I get nothing for it. He gets it. nothing <laughs> for it. You didn't, fast, <laughs> you didn't ask the Fast Eddie's, uh, fast Eddie's uh, uh, signature service. I should have. You should have. Right right now. His fault. Should've. Wake up over there, Rabbi. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, another thing that's noted in Pepperell that people don't realize, we do not have a traffic light. We have a couple blinking lights. I wouldn't brag about that. <laughs> What's the speed well, limit in Pepperell? Kind of, uh, anywhere between 20 to 35, Rabbi. Which, as, as, as fast as you want to go. As fast as you want to go, right. I'm not a rabbi. <laughs> you damn well look like it. Now cut it out. Get a big shaver out here. How about a big pen? Is that good enough? You, know, you let it go out. Ah, your wife said to take it off. There. <laughs> she probably said, oh, there's food from Friday, right? <laughs> 
<laughs> That's convenient. Yeah, it's very <laughs> exactly. When you need a snack, you know. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Yeah. Don't mind the green. Where, where else? Go ahead. If I want to take my fiance out for dinner, yeah, in Pepperell, yeah, where should I take her? Uh, well, Mariano's. Mariano's. Anywhere Mariano's. else? Mariano's. Um, you know where it is? We a, live right there. There's a new restaurant coming uh, in the next month called the Lazy Bubble, which <laughs> is. Uh, <laughs> I have a name is it? Yeah, Lazy Bubble. Bubble. Bear? Lazy, Bubble, yeah, Bubble. Lazy Bubble. 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 And I don't Lazy really know Bubble. much about it, but it looks like it's going to be pretty decent food. Well, how do you, what but, type uh, of food? Though? Um, I actually don't know, but it's supposed to be uh, supposed to be good. I, oh, where am I? They serve ham. Yeah, yeah. Want to go? I don't eat ham. Well, you will now because it's a great. Free, you'll take it. <laughs> I'll tell you, you know, if, I was gonna, guys if I was to go to a restaurant, I'd go right in your hometown in Groton, uh, <laughs> oh, probably Groton to J Gibbet Hill or the Groton Inn, mm -hmm. uh, Forge and Vine. You got mm -hmm. get very, a very bank loan before you go to the Gibbet Hill. No, <laughs> hey, when you come around, it's not cheap. If you, it's not cheap. It's not cheap. No, it's no, not no you get a bank loan. <laughs> Fast Eddie's bank the house. loan service, you know. <laughs> you, you know, when you come in from Westford and you're on what forty. There's no sign for where the heck it is. Yeah, yeah. And you come around the bend. Oops. Yeah, it is. almost go right by. It's, it. behind, it's behind the inn, right? Yep, yep. Nice yep. view of the cows up there. Yep. This. Yeah, it is. It is a nice view. Yeah, but it ain't worth $70 a, a tissue, you know. What are you, what are you buying? What are you, what are you buying at a... Well, she likes to eat, you know. Okay, that's fair. You can tell by her size, you know what I mean? She's like, get the whole steak. <laughs> no, get I have the, whole the cow, cow. coming. Come yeah. yeah. The cow walks by me with a, you know, chalk mark on him, and uh, <laughs> I'll have that. <laughs> okay. Yes, so what else is going on in the, um, so what is, well, how about talking about your business? You're here. Yeah, I've, I've uh, been in the insurance business for 30 years. Um, you don't look old enough. Yeah, I, well, I know. Oh, yeah. You oh, look yeah. like a little kid. Oh, yeah. I wouldn't go that far. Over 30 years, we do uh, a lot in the health insurance and life insurance area, and uh, the town's been very good to me, and the people in the area have been very, very good. We're at a very visible spot at 3 Hollis Street, right at the traffic circle. You heard in, that. In Pepperell. The people in, uh, in, uh, Chicago want to go there. Yeah, well, you, you go never out of know. State they might too. want to. Of course. Little Harvard Pilgrim, even though they don't work out yeah. there. No problem. <laughs> See, Rabbi, we got. How about Tel Aviv? You got that covered or what? <laughs> Tel Aviv. Oh, my God. <laughs> can you, How about can Jerusalem? You, can, you, can you explain something to me? Yes. Yeah. Can you explain the two different kinds of life insurance to me? Oh, term and term, whole? Term and whole. Term goes away, right? And oh, whole he's the one who sells it. Yeah, yeah. T yeah t uh, term and whole life. So term is literally... For, for all the younger viewers. For, yeah, for a period of time. Uh, you can lock in the premiums for 10, 15, or 20 years, but then the price goes up significantly after that versus a whole life policy. The premium will be more expensive, but locked in for a permanent period of time. So and, it, and it has cash value. Has yeah, cash and value. it also, until you croak, right? Right. Right, and it's so you, at your age, you might want to wonder. Right, so about what, do I, what do I want? What does he want? I don't know. We're we'd like have, two or three years apart. We'd have yes, to sit yes. down. <laughs> we'd have to sit down. I'd have to find out your needs, whether it's a short period of time or a long period of time, and then. Uh, but I'd be more than happy to sit down with you, <laughs> Rabbi, and, and help you out. Oh, all right. Hold it. I smell a fee here. here you go. <laughs> I'm open to it, baby. Okay. He's going to get. He'll get a pen by the end of your this. wife. Your we'll wife. Oh, sure no, he's going to have a fiance. You need a hell of a lot of insurance. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know. Oh. Take Taste this food, sweetheart. <laughs> <laughs> did, did you notice the dead bird out front? Oh, jeez. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, okay. yeah. I'm glad he's, he's happy. <laughs> I'm yeah. so happy I can't take yeah. it. Uh, so what else would you like to talk about? Because I know you're under a time restriction. Um, no, I can't think of really. I mean, this is this has been great. It's been wonderful. Great to meet you guys. And uh, what do you mean, just, you guys? It was great to meet me because I'm of, a star. Of course, you're. you're <laughs> so nice to meet you. Bye bye. Stop that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm a star without a portfolio, baby. Yeah, I don't yep. know if there's anything specific uh, you else that I want. Entertain your group at a party. Uh, you could come come to Rotary sometime and entertain us. That'd good be man. good. Cash. Okay, I just can't. All right. <laughs> About your business, you having a party or anything? Um, we are maybe having a Christmas party. I'll I'll let you know. And I'll invite you. How's Where that? Is it? Right at my uh, office at Three Hall Street. Three Hall Street in Brooklyn. Here we go. <laughs> in Brooklyn, New York. That's in Pepperell. Pepperell. That's in Pepperell. Well, yeah. I'm I'm open. Okay. You got my email? Okay. I'm gonna get it, and we'll, well give you a general. You better no. I'll, you might yeah. get lost. I'm I'm yeah, better yeah. drive. You, you bring them. Yeah. Are you Gino, going? You bring them. I'll go with you. Yeah. You come. Yeah, but. I, Right, I, Mary? I'll drive. Well, where should I send the show when it comes out? Oh, to 3 Hall Street. No, 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 no. I'm not airmailing it. E email. No, wait, which one? Oh, Derek, Derek? at tenbrookins.com. You hear that, folks? Derek at tenbrook. Ins. Ins. Com. Farm. Farm. Or farm. Come. Farm. Oh, come. Come. Oh, and, and, and it's B R O E C K. That's correct. Thank That's you. Correct. It should be German. It's Brook. Yeah. It's, Probably was. It's Dutch. What are they speaking, Holland? It's Dutch. 
Uh, they do, yes. Yeah, but it sounds like German, though. Yeah, a little bit. Do you Civil. speak German? Dutch sounds See? like Dutch sounds like English, but not quite. Right. What? Yeah, Dutch. Dutch. It sounds it's like it. English, but not quite. Yeah. So it sounds like mutant English. Yeah. No, that's Brooklyn. <laughs> <laughs> All right, not to mention down in uh, Boston. Well, thank you, Doctor. It's been a pleasure seeing you. <laughs> bless you. Mm, bless thank you, my you Put the money in here. Thanks, will you? For, thanks for the opportunity. Oh, good, I'd good. like to come back sometime, maybe. Well, we'll I say. don't want you back. <laughs> no, <laughs> anytime, sir. Thank you. Thank Just you. Send I more bribes. That. All right. All right. Thank I'll you. I'll go to your party. I don't care. All right. Make sure you serve him. <laughs> we sure will. <laughs> His name's Cohen. Make sure you serve him. All right. All right. We'll take a break for a moment. <laughs> okay. it's going. All right. We're on again. That was a great, great, great thing, wasn't it? I'll tell you. Very nice. Mayor what Pepperell. was his name again? The Mayor of Pepperell. Yeah. All right. So anytime you fly in from Never. San anybody comes in from Las Vegas, you want to go to Pepperell. That's where I go. Every right. Saturday night. Every Saturday night yeah. you go to Pepperell. crazy. Uh, you do? No, I didn't. <laughs> the not. wild time over it's there. The wild time. Wild time. He sits at the bog horn. <gasps> I'm getting married. <laughs> 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 All right. Now. So, uh, Charles, Charles Lehman from, uh, once again, the Washington Free Beacon, which is strangely enough in Washington. It is. All right, so, Charles, you're a staff writer. What exactly does no. that mean? Your thoughts on that matter, Charles? Uh, it, means, it means that I write about, well, so uh, I have a beat. My beat is sort of a weird, broad one. I write about, I like to say, about social issues and policy, which means I kind of get to write about whatever in the sort of domestic sphere. So I write a lot. I'm sort of best known for my writing about drugs. <laughs> I read a lot about crime. I read about the courts. I read about immigration. I read a little bit about I read about healthcare today. But it's you know a little bit whatever they throw at me. Um, Are you a little bit country too? <laughs> I'm a little bit country. Little no, bit that's that's my fiance. Too, yeah. She's a little bit country. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, but I you know I my job is to sort of know how policy things work and then explain them to people. That's roughly what I do. And I don't I don't really touch foreign policy and I don't really touch politics because mm -hmm. those are outside of my wheelhouse. But I do everything else. Right. What do you think about drugs? Like uh, I'm against them. They're bad. Well, the, oh, no. the, well, the, like the, the illegal ones. Yeah. What are you talking about marijuana? Well, so marijuana is complicated because it's certainly, it's certainly the case that I don't think that there are any major benefits to legalizing it. I think many of the benefits are overstated. I don't think that there are enormous costs to it being legal. I think it's sort of, you know, a net not a major impact. I think we tend to overstate mm -hmm. what an impact legalization would have and understate what the potential costs of legalization are, but it's kind of a wash. Yeah, yeah. Like, you know, at the end of the day, eh, kids shouldn't smoke it, pregnant women shouldn't smoke it, people with a history of schizophrenia shouldn't smoke it, and everyone else, don't do it too much. Yeah, but what about what they're driving? That always makes it more exciting. Drug driving? No. Yeah. No, don't, 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 don't smoke. It's like drinking and driving. Yeah. Colorado has seen a, it's like a 6% well, uptick in, in uh, drug driving really? since, uh, since legalization. Great. It's a major issue. That, how, so how's it working for them? Not so good. Well, you know, they, uh, and they aren't getting the tax revenue either, which is a major issue for their regime. How come they're not getting tax revenue? Uh, not totally clear. It could be because uh, the entity... Entities are failing to report their taxes adequately, partially because of federal legal, uh, federal criminalization. It could be because there are more illicit entities than they realize. It could be because they were overzealous about the tax estimates when they pushed legalization. It's unclear. I'd go with the overzealous. Because uh, we have a project we have to build, right? So let's right, do this. Right. Uh, and has the project started? No, no. We, uh, <laughs> we need more money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it, it's legal in Colorado, but not legal, let's say, the next state, and if, if the it, federal doesn't allow it, okay? That's correct. Oh, yeah. But is it, what's in Massachusetts? Just it's, le it's, le it's legal in Massachusetts. So stores? I believe so. I think, I don't actually remember Salem what the rules are for Massachusetts. One, the legislator approved yeah. for people to have uh, a, a permit so they can sell right, marijuana. Right, stores though, right? Yeah, they have the, some the stores. They're starting to set up. They have one already in there. Right, and, and they're trying to put. Uh, I think. I hope. I hope not. But eventually, it's going to be in little to two, maybe one or two. That's it. Well, how much do they actually get from that? Uh, the they state. Claim, they yeah, claim. I mean, that, yeah, they, not, not worth it. They claim that the purpose of having that somebody will be able to make decent am amount of money, but the question is, uh, you know, if 
it's going to cause a lot of problem. Mm. Does marijuana, or marijuana, does it, you remember, does it actually help with uh, medical side effects? Well, medication? there are certain there are certain things for which it is indicated. I think it's indicated for anxiety. It's indicated for I don't for, I don't remember the list. Is the list is shorter than uh, it's indicated for cancer pain. Yeah. Um. Or it's no. It's uh. Willingness to eat associated with cancer, um, nausea associated with cancer, yeah. it's indicated for that. But, like, there isn't actually a huge amount of research on its medical efficacy, like, uh, partially because it's been federally legal, it's been Schedule One, which means it's presumed to have no medical efficacy, and so there's not a huge amount of research about what it can be applied to. So 30-something states have medical marijuana laws on the books without there being a huge evidence base as to what it does, mm -hmm. uh, what how useful it is, and what the potential side effects are. So... Um, uh, for example, there's something called, so modern marijuana strains are much higher concentration of THC, tetrahydrocannabinol, mm -hmm. which is the, I mean, there are a bunch of psychoactive ingredients, which are the main one. Um, modern marijuana strains are much higher concentration than they were, you know, in the 60s. What's that supposed to do? Uh, it means, it means you have a more potent high. Well, all right. Yeah. Uh, well, but that can come with negative side effects, so. Oh, yeah, I'm just kidding. Yeah, ba back in 2006, they identified something called marijuana hyperemesis, which is basically you smoke a lot of really high-potency marijuana, and then you just throw up constantly. Excellent. It's Excellent. not good. No, I um, think it's great for the, uh, for the Zofran but part of the But part of, the, part of the conclusion to that is, like, we didn't know this was a thing. We had no idea this was a thing, and yet we believe... There's sort of a broad belief that marijuana is indicate marijuana is a sort of cure all drug. It's really sold as a cure all it drug. When there's no cure -all. real basis it's for ridiculous. that. Ridiculous. There's no drug that's cure all. Right. Well, you know, I agree. I think it probably works for some things, and it probably doesn't work well, for most for other things. Else, yeah, and yeah. Uh, now, can that but we don't know. Can that lead to other drugs uh, higher up the scale? Or is that another debate? Uh, that's another debate. It does appear to be the case that, it well, so it's certainly the case that if you use a lot of marijuana as a teen, that is correlated with using other drugs. Like on the other cocaine, hand, like yeah. Cocaine. On the other hand, that doesn't mean that marijuana causes using the no, other drug. No. There is some debate about if heavy, if chronic marijuana use in uh, your teen years is associated with changes in the brain, right. we're not really sure. People deba debate about the uh, the studies. Right, right. So I, I think the best answer is people who use drugs are more prone to use other mm -hmm. drugs, and right. that explains the lion's share of what's going on there. Until they, until they die. Until they die. And uh, you know, lots of people use marijuana and don't use other drugs, so yeah, it's certainly yeah. not a one-to-one -one correspondence. Yeah, uh, when, when they do these studies, you got to find out who f uh, funded the study. You do have to find out who funded the study. Marijuana Inc. funded this study. You know? uh, that's a problem. <laughs> and there are, lots of, there are lots of bad studies out there. Well, Dr. Lewis study. Uh, Lewis uh, McGiggledorf, he just, he, he was paid by them. They, oh, yeah, yeah. Right. I use it myself. <laughs> well, and, you know, uh, the Surgeon General, Jerome Adams, um, I read about this last week, Surgeon General drew an analogy between tobacco in the early mid 20th century and marijuana today not because he thinks marijuana causes cancer but he thinks that legalization and widespread consumption have spread very rapidly on the basis of scientifically tenuous claims mm -hmm. um, upheld by a large lobby that has an economic interest in economic us consuming these Well, you substances. can't trust that, though. Mm -hmm. You can't trust that. Right, this is, you know, the fight about Big Green, or when Big Tobacco realizes it's allowed to sell cigarettes, or allowed to sell marijuana cigarettes, allowed to sell joints, um, they will do that. You will be giving your money to Philip Morris to buy pot. Excellent. <laughs> what a country, huh? Yeah, you're too young for this stuff, anyway. Who? You're too young for this stuff. Oh well, yeah, I was with the. I I I told a till of the hunt. I, I uh, you can't drink that. You can't have that and go over the high mountain. No 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 no. Because mm -hmm. I'm not gonna go get you. <laughs> but eventually, like you say, if it start with opiate first, then a lot of people die. They, they're gonna take that out of the the shelves, and now they're gonna start with marijuana. Somebody's gonna get hurt sooner or later, or it's gonna be to a point where they're gonna say. Oh, marijuana, it's okay. Now we go to cocaine. Uh, then after that, we go to something else. Before you know, they're going to be zombie. You know, walking around the street or driving against against the wall, or I mean, falling asleep and go against the store or uh, killing somebody. Some people do that. Some people don't. And more importantly, you know, we we believe that we don't believe that tobacco is a gateway drug, right? Uh, to some extent. But it's a lot of nicotine, so you, don't, yeah. you, you know, you poison yourself. From with that, it's addictive. You know. Well, uh, I, I think yeah. smoking cigarettes is not great, but we yeah. don't talk about it as a gateway drug. It may have some, again, maybe 
a, a teenage tobacco use may be associated with teenage drug use doesn't mean that teenage tobacco use causes teenage well, drug no, use. No, that no, can no. cause uh, oral cancer. Oral yeah. cancer. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Don't them. smoke. What, what about with yeah. the, uh, cigars? Is that the, or does that Same call? thing. I mean, cigars, cigars smoke thing. different than... I don't know. No, they they fuck. I don't know. They, they don't. They don't uh, only go. They go through the through the lungs. Hmm. Okay, thank you. Yeah. So this, what about yeah. Vaporizing. Vapor. We have a question from the huge audience today. <laughs> vaporizing. What about what about what about, the, what about it? No, well, what do you what do you? It's probably I, oh they, so yeah actually uh, this is the fight in. Uh, Governor Baker, yeah, Charlie Baker, who's mm -hmm. decided to Suspended. ban vapes, Suspended. which strikes, you know, but for so, so long. That's so it. there's, uh, right, and you know, there, there are clearly two problems here, right? One is vapes are almost certainly safer than cigarettes. If mm -hmm. you're, if you're one of the, I forget what share of Americans smokes, it's like you know. 17%, 20%, it's lower than that, I don't remember. If, if you're one of the residents of Massachusetts who smokes, you are probably long run health-wise better off vaping because there's just less stuff in it. What's in it, do you know? It's, uh, it's, it's, it's nicotine, though. It's nicotine and ethanol. Well, you still get... Or not ethanol. Um, uh, ethanol would be no, just uh, great. Uh, yeah. Glycol. <laughs> um, put a match uh, on. Vegetable oil, essentially. Yeah. But, right, but right. there's still nicotine. There's still nicotine. So how does it get well, you off or something? Well, uh, be, be, because cigarettes have lots of other things that cigarettes can, can contain. Arsenic, cigarettes can, oh. some cigarettes can contain polonium. Like polonium? Cigarettes can contain terrible stuff. So you won't need the light at night. It'll, yeah, you'll yeah, just yeah, light yeah. up. Yeah. Yeah. You light Small up. concentration. Save on the electric company. Yeah, I mean, oh, I, I don't need, I have an aura in the room. Um, uh, so, so you don't get all of the bad stuff that's in cigarettes in vaping. So that's good. On the other hand, we know from survey data that one of the greatest public health achievements the past 20 years is the radical decline in teen smoking. And if you look at, here's teen smoking, and then about 2015, here's teen vaping. And like, it's not great for teenagers' brains to be exposed to not large healthy. concentrations That's of nicotine. Really it's not healthy. great for their development. It's not great mm -hmm. for IQ. We're pretty sure of that. Mm -hmm. So, you know. I understand what the governor and other state legislators want to do. They're sort of worried about this like rise of teen vaping thing. I don't know what the right solution there is. I think probably the harm reducing benefits of vaping to current smokers outweigh the costs given that there are other less restrictive ways to discourage teens from vaping. What are, what are these things that uh, some people died after vaping? What the? Uh, I don't we know don't what know order. yet. They were they, so so most most of those cases involve people vaping uh, illicit cartridges or uh, cartridges produced by hand um, that contained that were that contained THC. So that it, like vaping marijuana oil. Yeah. Um, we don't know why there's an illness associated with that. It could be something about the interaction. It could be something about what's being used. It could be something about uh, what happens when you vape marijuana. It could be something about uh, the kind of oil involved. We're not really Does sure. Does that the go CDC deeper in and then smoking? If what? You're, when you oh, vape, yeah. it goes deeper oh, in. Oh, yeah. I don't think so. No? no. It's, 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 it's still it's it's inhaling water vapor. Well, they water, say... Yeah, but water vapor is just water vapor. Yeah, yeah. yeah they say it goes all the way through when it comes out. Oh, excuse me. Right. Who's they? The kids. Oh, the kids, yeah. The kids, you know. And when did he say that while he was... I think smoking is smoking. <laughs> inhaling stuff, in inhaling stuff is a function of your lung capacity. No, I like to go behind a bus that's idling and just... I would not recommend that. Breathe either. That's yeah. bad for you. No, no. no. Yeah. Yeah. So you, smoking actually went up to from uh, 16 or 18 to 21. Vaping at the moment is suspended. Right. And that's yeah, but that's only to, here, though. Right. That's here. Question, it might like go Michigan back. is also considering it, I yeah. forget. Did he, uh, I thought the courts would, didn't they go to court, the vaping company? Presumably. I haven't followed the, the story that closely. I just know that, I know the little vape shop in Air is very upset about it. Oh. Yeah. Like he's upset because he's not getting money. Like, no, he's not selling it, right. Yeah. Yeah. But. Uh, they said they're close. I mean, you know, yeah. I, I was walking by, I don't yeah, vape myself. Yeah. No, no, I know. I see as, as a person that is supervised like a, Security, so they, they want to make sure that whoever comes in, that they're older than enough to, to buy it. They might uh, want it, but they don't sell. They don't sell vape in, in there yet. This well, how do you know they're not giving it to somebody else? You, you know, never right? know. Just there's like always, with cigarettes. There's all. You are correct. Or or alcohol. That's a you know yeah. di diversion is a major problem. Yeah.
Like you say, as long as money involved, they do anything to get it. You, well, yeah. we don't say anything. Well, <laughs> most. Most anything. Yeah. Most anything. Because cash is king. Remember that, Rabbi, right? Yeah. When you pass that thing around, yeah. ha, give it to it, Hertz, come on. They should give it to charity, you know what I mean? When the people it's have nothing, charity. nothing to eat, and they should, instead of smoking, that stuff. Oh, which brings us to Arizona and you. Right, right. You now, you, you're going out there again this year to do that? Yeah, I'm going to go. I'm not telling you on the date because I don't want nobody to call me. I'm going to go on an assignment. What are you touching me? Because you're a nice guy oh. until I say so. Your wife's not here. You're lonely, right, aren't you? Right, right. <laughs> I'm going to visit, right. He's going on assignment, so. Yep. What's your assignment? He's just uh, leaving town. Br bringing, bringing some uh, checks so I can supply food for people who have nothing to eat one day a week. This so. is Arizona. Now, wh who do you give it to? Is to San Vincent de Paul. Yeah, but who do they distribute to? To anybody they have. Anybody? The, the anybody they have a need for, 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 for meals. How's the, f how's the funding going this year? I, I try. I'm, I almost close to 2000 You did? Yeah. Let's give them a hand. Give it to kids. Yeah. I think for that. All right. All right. Rabbi? Yeah. <laughs> that collection's like, Friday night. I, you want to hand some like, over? I would like to cash on me. I would yeah. like to get at least another 500. 500? Rabbi? <laughs> get into that, in that uh, slush we'll fund. That slush fund we have. <laughs> so they don't have a big Hanukkah party. What the hell? Uh, uh, give them some matzah and tell them to get out of here. <laughs> use six, hey, use six candles on the menorah. That's how it yeah. works. It doesn't work that oh. way? No. You can't take it with you, right? Yeah. Well, I, you some people that's try. True. You, you that's have true. to help. You have to help uh, somebody. That's something. true. You do. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you. You're welcome. We don't, anything else you want to say in the closing moments here? Well, I'm going to say that I'm going to an assignment and I'm going to really be away <laughs> for a while. And I'm sorry to say, I'm going to miss Mary. But not you, me. You maybe fifty yeah. percent. Hey, Rams, you want to come back on the 14th, Rams? <laughs> sure, I, I'm, I'm, I'm happy to come back. I don't know when, but I'm happy to come back. Well, all right, because uh, <laughs> I, my next show is the 14th. What? I don't have anything else to do. Excellent. Good. So, you Rabbi, Rabbi Schwartz, I'm going to be out of town then. Oh, I'll sure. Get back to you. I'll get back to you. Where, Brooklyn? No, I have to go, I have to go see my family. Right. Where are they? Right. Pittsburgh. I wouldn't go to Pittsburgh. The it's Steelers a stink. It's a great place. <laughs> Pittsburgh. Breathe deeply. You He's like got to go see his dust. family. Well, okay, give all him right. Alone, will so we, we have what? You got anything else you want to say? I'm all set. The next, show, okay, now, the next show is the 14th of November. Same time, same place. Be there. Same yeah. bad time. Aloha. Same yeah. bad channel. If you go to Pittsburgh, just call him up and say hello. <laughs> Man, I'll call in. I'll dial in. Via satellite <laughs> from Brookline. Here he is. So you you have anything else to say in the closing 20 seconds? 20 seconds? I uh, hope to see you again. What, something's going to happen with the plane? No. No, no. Say hey, a don't prayer. do that, Rabbi. Say Give a prayer. Him a, say a prayer <laughs> so, so I can come back, book. Rabbi. What do you got in here? Shoulder pants? What's going on? Oh, sorry. My has, muscle, I told you to muscle. take it off. All right, we'll be back on November 14th. Bye. Let's give a hand. All right, all right, all right. Rabbi, go right ahead. We're still on. <laughs> and so then it's dead, but Cohen is. And when it comes to weather, Cohen's smart. As New York as you get, his money's on the Mets. Which goes to show that Ed to Joe always bets his heart. You'll hear a slick review or two from Nikki. And can't the something bird will sing some song. There's weather news and shtick, enough to make you sick. You'll be glad you came along.